New at 530, Liberty High School graduate Ryan Reed thought he had it all. At 17, he was on top of the local racing world and headed for stardom until a Google search threatened to end it all. 17's Jason Galvin tonight with the story of a local NASCAR star winning on and off the track against all odds. Sometimes life throws you a curve. No, not like these massive curves Ryan Reed encounters at NASCAR tracks across the country. Uh, definitely the, the toughest emotional time uh, that I've had in my life. This curve was much worse. 17 years old, getting ready to graduate high school and move away from my parents, get out of Bakersfield uh, and uh, just go pursue my dream and got really sick, got diagnosed with diabetes and actually told that I'd never race again. And yet here he is, driving for legendary car owner Jack Roush in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, overcoming a disease one lap, Reed looking for the checkers, He's and one win at a time, at including at the world famous Daytona International Speedway. I mean, it's hard to put in words, you know, I mean, that place has so much history, it's so hard to win there. You're joining some of the greatest that's ever stepped foot in a race car uh, that have won around that place. A Bakersfield native, racing's all Reed has ever known, following his father Mark to tracks across the West Coast, including here, Fontana's Auto Club Speedway. I grew up coming here, uh, you know, I, I didn't come here to watch Jeff Gordon and Dale Earnhardt originally, I came here to watch my old man race. The elder Reed could see his son's talent early on. He had something special. He was winning a lot of races against some of the best kids in the country. That he just had kind of a killer instinct. At 17, Reed was presented with the opportunity of a lifetime. Move to North Carolina and pursue a career as a NASCAR driver. Till a phone call changed his life. And he calls me and his mom when he's about halfway across the country, tells us through Google that he self-diagnosed himself with type 1 diabetes. And, you know, my wife, she broke down. And I'm thinking, no, he's just, there's, there's got to be a mistake. No, that, that's not possible. I was more frustrated. I was more like mad, like, man, yeah, I got, and, and I was mad because I felt like it was robbing me of my dreams. It was really a, a black cloud for our family, and you'll never forget it. Type 1 diabetes, a diagnosis that nearly put the brakes on a promising career. And Ryan was like, we're fine. We'll get through this. It's just one thing after another. We'll take it step by step. We'll figure out how to deal with it. It's just a bump in the road. Type 1 diabetes causes the pancreas to stop producing insulin. As a result, Reed must constantly manage his blood sugar levels. Doctors said that task would be too daunting behind the wheel. Yeah, I mean, diabetes affects every aspect of my life in every way. Uh, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, and even while I'm asleep. Uh, it's a disease that your 24-7 management uh, is required, and but it also doesn't define my life. Uh, so it affects it in every way, but it doesn't define it. Now he's the only diabetic on the NASCAR circuit. If I was diagnosed 20 years ago, I probably wouldn't be able to drive a race car. Factors like extreme heat, physical, even mental exertion could all cause life-threatening swings in Reed's blood sugar level. As a result, being strapped into a race car could be a risky proposition. But advancement in medical technology over the last decade have helped propel Reed to his first win in 2015 and another one this past February. My continuous glucose monitor is a wireless monitor. I'm mounted on my dash next to all my other gauges uh, so I can watch my blood sugar just like I watch my oil temperature, my water temperature, RPM, anything else. Uh, and it's just a, it's a little different, but you know, it's how, I, it's how I can get in a race car and safely drive a race car. He's a diabetic driven by determination. Uh, there's going to be a lot of challenges in life. Some are fair, some are unfair, but um, either way, it's about how you get through those and uh, how you come out the other side of it that really define you. A role model for all. In Fontana, California, with Chief Videographer Grant Simpson, Jason Galvin, 17 News. Great story. Keep your eye on those gauges, Ryan. Ryan Reed is currently sixth now in the NASCAR Xfinity Series points race. Uh, up next, the next race, Saturday, Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama.